Now our final case preparation is the true veneer onlay where I'm going to actually be hooding the palatal cusp. So how does that look? We're going through the same exact things that we've just talked about. I have the same veneer onlay preparation. The difference is I'm going to continue my burr and I'm going to remove about a millimeter and a half of that palatal cusp. And I want this to come off at about a 90 degree margin and slightly heading into the mouth. So it sort of gives me this very flat palatal shoulder with very rounded prep um, angles. I'm going to then go into the proximal. I'll remove the proximal with that same tapered diamond, going through that contact, and watch how I can now just sort of lift up this burr and I want to round this corner so I don't have a sharp margin, and it just rolls and rounds. So I now have a very soft, smooth contour with this veneer onlay hooding the palatal cusp. We look from an occlusal view, you'll see that the entire occlusal surface now is being supported by porcelain. The delivery or the path of insertion is going to be more occlusal than what we saw from our previous restorations. So you'll notice from our simple veneer, the prep less is coming from the facial and incrementally we're coming more and more from the occlusal as we add that occlusal portion into our preparation design.